hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name's Tori and my hair is a different color, but that's a story for Instagram or another day. So today I'm doing a collective haul. I haven't done a haul on my channel in a long time. If you're on a no buy, I recommend you don't watch this. And this is stuff I've accumulated for like the past five months, about. So I don't have specific dates, but I do have some informed off the dome reviews on these items that I can give you. And I have about the order I've got these items. There are still a couple items I've not used yet. And that's about it. First thing we're gonna talk about is stuff I got from a discount cosmetic store. And when I go to discount cosmetic stores, I particularly buy one brand that is pretty much my favorite high-end brand. Good old Urban Decay. I finally treated myself to the Naked Cherry palette because they had a really good deal on it. So far, I don't think I've used every single shade in here yet. I only haven't used this dark matte and I haven't used Hot Spot, which is this light matte cream shade because I pan a lot of those. I'm not going to reach for this one when I have other ones I can be panning. Um, I'm so happy I finally got this. I really like this. It's my type of color story. If I wasn't project panning, I would just wear this palette every single day. Um, I made excuses to wear these shimmers the week slash two weeks I was playing with this palette because I'm so happy I finally got it. If I only had to have one naked palette, I would get this because it fits me better than any of the other naked palettes. Along with that, I got a concealer. I got the Fair Warm Concealer to use this as my, not summertime shade, but when I'm a little bit tanner, I use this one. Normally I use the Fair Neutral one. And then of course, I got two lipsticks because why wouldn't I? This one is from the Born to Run collection. I was gonna say Born to Travel. That's not what the collection was called. This is shade 66 for, I'm assuming, Route 66. And it's your basic mauve pretty color that I tend to wear a lot. So happy I got that. And it is a comfort matte formula, which is my fave. And then this one I got for fun. This was from the Cherry Collection. This is devilish. This is a metallic. And first metallic lipstick I tried from them. And I'm not mad at it. I actually really do like it. But I definitely am not confident enough to wear it on its own yet. Next, I have a miscellaneous miscellaneous purchase where I don't remember where I got it from but it's the CoverGirl Peacock Flare mascara now that they're cruelty free I can buy this again I have not opened this yet but I'm going to have to soon so that's nice next thing is something new that I've never actually hauled before because I wasn't allowed to wear them I got eyelashes and I bought them because they were $1.99 and I used to watch Nikki Philippi, if that's how you pronounce her name. I can't remember. I used to watch her when I was like 12 and I'm turning 20 in a month. Time has passed. Um, I've tried them once because I was doing a look with a palette. You'll see soon. And I applied them badly, but I'm not mad at them. I really do like them. They're kind of more natural. So excited to wear them more. I'm pretty sure I got this in the Ulta's 21 Day of Beauty. I got the Razzle Dazzle palette by Too Faced. Um, I've been wanting this for a long time. Do I need this now that I have the Naked Cherry? Probably not. But am I so happy I have it now? Yes. So, I'm at it. I will, same thing for Naked Cherry. I'll go into this just for the shimmers and like call it a day. But when I first got this, I did a two different eye look. I know that's on my Instagram somewhere. Had so much fun with it. The rest of these items I know I got at Ulta, but I can't remember when. So the first thing that, if you're gonna get mad at me for, I'm mad at myself too, but I needed these. My skin needed these. I got a sheet mask. I got two Tony Moly normal ones, and then I got Physicians 10 blackhead strips. My skin, for the longest time, and you can see it in my videos, I mean, even now, now that it's the end of the day and half my makeup's off, my skin still looks bad. But my skin was having a really bad time with the products I was using and it wanted to go back to some basics. Um, I have used um, another sheet mask, I think I bought three, but my face needs these every once in a while. 
since it's still problematic and then obviously these are for blackheads so I know I'm not environmentally friendly hence why I did not buy a lot um but yeah so the other things I've got from Ulta was the NYX control freak eyebrow gel I've forgotten how much I've missed a nice comb through gel if I could have my ideal brows every single day it would just be this in my brows and I would be content so, very happy I got this again. I use it <laughs> every single day. Um, and yeah, I didn't realize how much I missed it. I also got the Formula 10 Draw It All Out um, Peel Off Mask also for blackheads. It doesn't really pull blackheads out, but I do like it. And I know it's taking stuff off my face, but not necessarily blackheads. It makes my skin feel nice. I would repurchase a full size because this is just a one ounce travel size and then I got the revolution makeup revolution poor blur primer um, my other one started reacting badly to my foundation so I needed a new one and this is a silicone based one and I actually prefer silicone based over um, the current one I'm using so it's not too bad not too shabby I'm only showing one because I've used most of them, but I did go on Amazon and I bought reusable, I'm pretty sure these are bamboo cotton pads because I'm done with makeup wipes. I'm cutting them out, I don't need them, and I don't need cotton pads either. These little guys, I'm pretty sure I bought a pack of like 16, maybe 20, and I re they're reusable, I wash them on Delicate with my Delicates in the washer and the dryer. Um, well, sometimes if I put them in the dryer and they're all dandy none of them have broken apart yet and I've had them for probably about four months would recommend if you're looking into the reusable Avenue this I got at a Marshall's this was a pearlescence a coconut and rose makeup setting spray used it only about once or twice the coconuts subtle enough where it doesn't annoy me because I really don't like coconut but the mister is really nice so can't wait to finish up my new one to use that one because not not my new one but I can't wait to finish up the one I'm using because I don't like it that much next I have a little contour single from NYX this is an 05 tan I was just I picked it up without remembering that I had a different contour power contour powder from LA colors and I picked this up as possibly a dupe for um the anti-vac shade that i use you know um but i didn't really need it but not mad at it because i'm pretty sure i got it for like 2.99 and i know that i'll eventually need it so not too mad at that i did get a lime crime kit from a marshall's i'm pretty sure i got the velveteen lip liner in drew and the little plushies in hot chocolate these are both very nude very pretty kind of similar to the lipstick color I'm wearing now so I know I'll get used out of them and I actually really do like the lip liner even though as I've said before I don't like lip liners I don't think I need to use one every day but this one is nice if I had to use it <laughs> I got the elf flawless finish foundation alabaster one turns out it's a perfect shade for me which doesn't happen often and I really like this formula so excited about that can't wait to use that and then from Marshalls I got the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Reading Concealer in Fairest one was so happy I finally found this and I've only used it once so I can't really give a review on it now we're gonna get talking about the recent stuff I bought that I have used so Something finally arrived in the mail. I was so excited because I didn't have to wait anymore and harass customer service for shipping information and make sure my order was com um, confirmed everything I got the mini controversy and the conspiracy palette so let's open the big boy this is what the big boy looks like this is what the palette looks like I've used I've used almost every single shade. I've swatched every single shade. Um, the only shades I have not used yet were Cheese Dust, 
sleep paralysis and I think that's it I think I've used everything else the only shade I'm not a fan of is Trish it took me forever and a year to get it on a brush and I didn't want to wet it I wanted and I didn't want to use my finger so then I had to run and go get starting spray to do that which is annoying so definitely not really gonna reach for that shade but I do like everything else the black actually is a very good black um, you can it's pigmented but you can also sheer it out like it's the perfect what you need type of black if you want it sheer you can make it sheer if you want it even more pigmented you can make it more pigmented bless bless that this black is amazing I'm really happy I finally have it so I don't have to stress about not having it this was the first palette from Jeffrey that I actually bought at launch the other the thirsty palette I got as a Christmas gift and androgyny I bought way after it launched um, so I don't think I'm ever gonna buy a palette at launch again especially if all the other launches are going to be at the same magnitude as that one was because I literally sat at a computer for an hour and a half but anyway mini controversy I have not really played with this one yet. Um, I used the one shade today. I used Controversy actually today. But from first impressions and from swatches, which you know, swatches don't always tell the full story. Wait till you play with a brush. The only shades that might give me trouble is Flat Earth and Exposed because I had to reach into them twice. I'm really excited to play with the simulation and cancel because they seem very pigmented and very nice but I've not done that yet. Then, I made a Sephora order. It was really to get a gift for my grandmother, but then I was like, mm, I wanna hit free shipping. So, I got the Hootie, Huda Beauty Neon Rose Gold Mini Palette. I um, never really supported Huda before this, but I've been really wanting this palette because I really like these tones. And um, so far for the shimmers, don't know if I like them. I love how they look. I love the colors of this whole palette, but I'm not sure how I feel about the shimmer glitter formula. And then the last thing I got from Sephora was a kit. It's a Mara Badescu kit, and it was the drying lotion and then the rose water facial spray. This on its own, whether it's a plastic bottle or glass, this one's glass, never had glass before, is $17. A four ounce bottle from Mara Badescu, I'm pretty sure it's 15. They were selling this in a kit for 19. I jumped on that so quick because this has been the only thing my face has been reacting to and has been calming down my acne. Now I know it looks bad today, I didn't use it last night, but this works for me. So, happy I got a deal because I've missed, like I have rose water but I don't use it that much because I don't have a backup but now I have a backup. And then the last order, I didn't expect it to come in today, but it did. So we're filming this. I made an order on ColourPop. I don't own that much ColourPop because I always forget about it. But I ordered some today. So the first thing and the big thing I got was the Dream Big Vault. Because if you don't know, one of these little nine pan palettes retails for $12. So if you wanted to buy six, Separately, it's 72. They were selling it for 49. So that's the price of four plus a dollar. So these are the four that I bought for myself. Um, there were six, obviously, like I said, in the kit. So it came with these four and then these two. So in this hand, I have It's My Pleasure, which is the purple palette, and then Main Squeeze, which is the red palette. These two are going to be gifts for my friend, but don't worry, she doesn't watch this. <laughs> And then these are my keeping for me because this is out of the main ones that they first launched. These are the ones I want. And besides, I want the lilac and the peach as well, which hopefully my Santa Clauses are getting me. I told them they better check their list twice because I wrote it on there. Like the main number one item. Anyway, <laughs> so I'll show you what mine looks like because obviously I'm going to play with them um, eventually. So this is Aren't You Glad. I've heard mixed things about this, is it called a press glitter formula? The weird glitter formula? Um, I noticed that only, oh, I just noticed the mirror also has that little weird plastic thing. So I noticed that only Orange You Glad and Aha Honey have that. So 
I will play with it and probably say something about it on Instagram and I'll probably make individual posts about each of these because creativity is going to be flowing. This is the Just My Luck. Honestly, seeing it in person, I'm really drawn to the Olive, Olive You and then Charmer and I'm shocked that that's what pulls me in the most, but I can't wait to play with it. Oh my god. Um, and then Blue Moon. This one was, when they first started launching these, this was the one I wanted right away. So I'm happy I finally have have it. Um, but yeah, so expect me to play with some color more because now I got these little babies to hang out with. Um, and especially these are all the colors that I don't have a lot of. Like the purple and the red, I didn't really, I didn't really care about. Like if I wanted all six, what, was it a good deal? Yes, but I think it was a good deal either way because... I didn't have to go out and spend extra $12 on both of those <laughs> to get a gift for my friend. You know what I mean? So, that was the wise process. But then, it was free shipping. So, I was like, mm, I'm going to get some items that I've really been wanting. And, like, by really been wanting, I mean, like, I've had this at my ColourPop cart, like, at least 10, 15 times and haven't purchased it. The first thing is from Disney Villain Collection Hades. I love Hercules. I saw it the first time a couple years ago, and ever since, I've, I love it. I love Hercules. Meg is, Meg is me. Um, <laughs> so this is Everyone's Got a Weakness. I know it's going to be a little bit dark for me, but I don't care. I don't care. This is going to be my new, oh my gosh, it's so soft. This is going, actually, it's not too dark for me. It kind of reminds me of... It's very, it can be, it's with my finger, it's very subtle, which means that my pastiness can wear it, but it reminds me of Eclipse from the ABH Aurora Glow Kit, and I've hit pan on that multiple, like I've hit pan on that, and I've used it multiple times, so that's amazing. Um, and then the second to last thing I got was the Belle Lux lipstick. Belle was my favorite, my first, no, she was my second favorite princess growing up, but like, Growing up, I didn't dye my hair, so it was pure brown. And I was like, she's the only Disney princess with brown hair, so I must have to like her. Um, it's a really pretty basic color. So excited to finally have it. And I've had, I've used their Lux, that's not called, yeah, their Lux lipstick formula before. And then the last item I got was the Super Shock Shadow in VR Guest. Yeah, VR Guest. Now, let's open it for the first time. And it's the pretty shade that I would use all damn day. It's a pretty shade that I would use all the time. I'm gonna swatch it. Oh, it has a nice sheen. It's coming out so poorly since I'm filming at night and I'm sorry, but it's a nice pink with a little, little hint of purple. I'm in love. Um, expect to see a lot of posts about, especially the ColourPop stuff, on my Instagram. Um, I'm not going to post a lot of the Jeffree stuff since Jeffree is controversial, but also, I don't, I don't post half the looks I make anyway. My Instagram account is more so panning, and then, oh, by the way, here's what I got. So, yeah, that is everything I've gotten recently, and many reviews on all of that. What have you gotten recently and you, what have you enjoyed most that you've gotten recently? That is my question for you. Um, I think out of everything that I've physically tried in this haul so far that I like the most is I really do like this pore mask because even though it doesn't take out blackheads, well, it doesn't take out all the blackheads, it takes out enough where I feel refreshed after. And probably the Naked Cherry palette and the Trudy, the Razzle Dazzle Berry palette because I just have gotten so much use out of them already. So yeah, that is everything for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy me or you enjoy hauls or project panning. And I hope you have an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this. Peace out, Girl Scout.